In this sequence of episodes, I am covering the toolbar, and in this specific episode, I am covering the Track Select Forward and the Track Select Backwards tool. And these are just tools that help you select a certain range of clips within your timeline. I'm going to move over here, especially when you are working on a larger timeline. I'm going to zoom up here and let's say we've got a whole range of, we've got a big timeline here. So let's move to this timeline here where we've got kind of a bigger range of clips and say we're zoomed up and we're editing. And say I want to select a range of clips and say I want to select everything on the timeline from maybe this point forward right there. One way you can do that, of course, is you can zoom out and then you can kind of eyeball it and grab everything like that with your marquee, with your selection tool. But if your timeline is so big, sometimes it's really difficult to kind of eyeball and get the right clip there. So what we can do, is first of all, I'm going to deselect. To deselect all my clips, you can do Control shift a Think of Control a or Command A as a Select All tool. So if you do Command Shift A or Control Shift A, that is almost like a, the Shift key acts as a modifier to reverse it and, and deselect everything. So if we have a couple select clip, if we have a couple clips selected, Control or Command Shift A deselects everything on the timeline. Sometimes it's really important if you're trying to perform functions to a certain clip and you don't know which one on the timeline is selected, you can perform a quick Control Shift A or Command Shift A and it deselects. Let's go through these track tools now. The shortcut for those things, uh, first of all, all tracks forward is simply the letter A on your keyboard. Think of it as like all tracks forward, basically. Okay, and say I want to put, select from this point forward. What you do is you move, uh, it measures basically from the tips of these arrows here. If I move the tips of the arrows, see how they're overlapping that uh, this, this previous cl clip right here? But the tip is uh, right past that edit point. So if I click, notice it just selects everything forward. If I just move this back slightly to where the arrow is now overlapping this previous clip and click, it selects from here and any link tracks forward. So if I click here, we can select all tracks forward. I can hit slash and notice that I've got everything from that point selected. And now if I need to move this, a quick way of moving this, by the way, is you can use your arrow tool, like we mentioned in the previous episode, we can grab it and move it backwards and hold down control and do an insert edit. But if you really want kind of a lot of control over where these things go, once again, A, click, I select all the tracks forward. I'm gonna use my cut, copy, paste feature. Control or Command, X, C, and V is cut, copy, paste, just like in a word processor. So now if I hit Control X, watch what happens. It just cut all that information that I just selected right there, but now it's waiting in a paste queue saying, where do you want to paste this now that you've cut it? So I'm going to zoom up. I'm going to hit my arrow tool, V, and I'm going to zoom up, and let's say I want to stick it. I'm going to hit arrow up and jump to the point. Let's say I want to insert my clips right there, right between these clips right there, and I want to shove everything else out and not overwrite them. First of all, if you do control V, just like a normal paste, it just ate over everything in its path as long as those clips were and uh, and eliminated them because they were in the way. So it just basically ate over those paths. That was like an overwrite. I'm going to undo that. And now I want to paste them there. Quick little shortcut here. Instead of control V, if you use your modifier key, control shift and hit V, it, it inserts it in the middle and shoves everything else out. So that's a basically an insert and an edit. A control V is an overwrite paste. Control shift V, as in uh, Victor, is a an insert paste. So I'm going to undo that, undo again. And that is basically your tr uh, track select forward tool. Next one I'm going to cover here is this uh, track select backward tool. We've got this uh, track select forward tool. And now kind of the reverse. If you want to select everything before this clip, let's go, let's say like right here and backwards. I want to select everything before that. All I have to do is hit the shortcut. For the shortcut for the forward tool was A, and the shortcut for the backward tool is Shift A. Just hit, hold down Shift, hit A, and it does all tracks backward. So if I want to select from here, once again, from the point of this little first arrow there, forward, you just simply click, and it selects all tracks forward. You don't have to get it right on the edge there. You can kind of move it wherever. You, just hover it right over here, click, and it selects everything backwards. And then once again, if you, if you want to move this, uh, one thing I didn't cover with the all tracks forward function. Once you select, you can move this your mouse over this with the same tool selected and you grab and just start immediately moving. So what, another thing I didn't cover is actually you can move this down here and you can select and just grab and start moving as well. This also works as a move tool. Let's do it all tracks forward. I'm going to move it over all these clips right there. Click and start dragging to move it. 
So it's like a click and drag sort of thing. One more function with these tools here is I'm modifying these while you've got the tools selected. I'm going to go to scene nine here. I've got some tracks that are on top here. I've got uh, an audio track that's down here on, on uh, the second audio track and some video clips up on the second video track. Watch what happens as I click here and go all tracks forward. It selects everything from this point forward. All tracks. It selects the V2, v, uh, the A2. It selects everything. If you have stacked tracks, it'll select everything from that point forth. Now watch what happens with my modifier key. While I've got my all tracks forward key selected, if I hold hold down shift and I'm holding it down right now notice it turns to a single arrow if I just want to select a single track here I'm gonna move it over this one and click notice it selects just this track and anything associated or linked to this track right here so you see the audio selected down here as well because they're linked to video clips up here if I just want to select these video clips up here once again with this uh, all tracks forward selected I hold down my shift click and it selects all the tracks forward just on this track right there now, say you just want to select from here forward and just do the video tracks and nothing else. So I just want to do a single track forward here. So I'm going to hold down shift, but now I just want to select audio or, and I would just want to select video and not audio. Once again, the other, remember the other modifier key was holding down option or alt to toggle that link function between your video and audio. So right now I'm holding down the shift key for just a single track and the option key just for the video and click and it selects just the video and nothing that's linked to it as well. And same with audio here. Say so I just want to select my audio forward. I'm going to hold down shift, single track, and I don't want to select the video that's linked to my audio. Hold down option as well. So right now I'm holding down shift and option or alt and click. And that's all tracks forward. And that's that full single track forward. And it works on the, works exactly the same on the uh, select tracks backward tool. Once you've selected that, you can hold down shift and it does a single track and option and shift will select everything without, ever, without the associated linked tracks. So if you have any questions, post it. In the next episode, I'm going to be going through the ripple and the roll tools on the toolbar.